Hey, it's Patrick here, Half Cheetah Will View, and it's Tuesday. And if it's Tuesday, that can only mean one thing. That must be it's library day. And it is. With a slight twist. Uh I did this a couple I did this a couple of months ago, and I figured it was about time to do one again. So um not only do we have the library hall today, but we also have a small package from Hamilton Book. Hamilton Book. Uh, let's get into the, uh, uh, the, the library hall first. So today was bag day, uh, uh, bag, uh, bag week. And so you get to bring a bag in and you get to fill it up for $6. Um, man, this was, this was a interesting week. Um, for one thing, there are a lot of people there this week. A lot of resellers. Holy crow. We have, I haven't seen that many since I started doing this. Uh, and it rained too. It was a thunderstorm outside and yet it still brought them all in. I mean, I saw several new faces I hadn't seen before, but they were there today. Um, that made interesting hunting, that's for sure. Um, so, uh, that, that was one thing. Um, two, so many just missed by this much. Um, so many, so many, so much good stuff. I mean, uh, they did say they were going to save TV series for... Uh, this week and they did and uh well let's get into it uh i did pick up a book i picked up a book i picked up a uh a matter of honor uh this is about admiral husband uh kimmo who was blamed basically for uh pearl harbor and the disaster for it and he was relieved the com uh, he was the commander of the pacific uh, pacific fleet and he was actually uh Relieved the command, uh, convicted of, uh, uh, accused of dereliction of duty and public duty disgrace. And this led him to commit suicide. Uh, his, fo his family uh, uh, followed up behind him and they went to war with the Pentagon saying that their father was a, was a, was a good man, a good, good commander. And what happened to him was a disgrace of justice. And uh, this is the fight to restore his honor. Um, so this would be a really good read. There will be a book up update soon. Uh, all right, so we'll get into the movies quick, real quick. I just found a pair. Uh, I found one from Rennie Harlan, uh, The Legend of Hercules. Uh, this came out right before the Hercules with the Rock came out, and um, I had heard that this one did not do that well, but I went ahead and picked it up anyway because um, I like the cast. Uh, this one here has uh, Scott Atkins in it, has Kellen Lutz, uh, Liam McIntyre, uh, Jonathan Shrek, uh, Shrek, I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, I, and Randy Harlan directed it. I'm a Randy Harlan fan, so I'm all in for this one. This looks pretty good. I like the cover, uh, and I like Kellen Lutz. Uh, next up is a, I know I probably would have liked to find this in Blu-ray, but I did not. I found it in DVD, but... And I found a four desk collector's edition of uh, the Blade Runner. So there is all chock full of different versions of the movie on here. Uh, there's four discs, uh, including the final cut, uh, disc two, making Blade Runner, three, uh, the archival versions, and four, the enhancement archive. Uh, this is this is pretty this is pretty cool looking. I've never seen this before. So, um, like I said, yeah, it would have been nice to get it on Blu-ray, but I'm sure that's probably what someone did, and they just donated the, their DVD copy. So glad to have it. All right, so those are really just the, the two movies I found, and then I got some series to tell you, including our centerpiece, including our centerpiece. Yes, our centerpiece is actually coming today and not on the Hamilton book, and I think you'll be a little bit surprised by that. Uh, I found the first season of The Newsroom on Blu-ray. I was really happy to find this. Uh, this is Aaron Sorkin. Uh, he's a sharp political writer. Uh, makes great TV shows. He did the newsroom. He also did. Uh, he also did the West Wing. Uh, he overcame his own addiction and self destruction uh, behaviors to uh, become a uh, even better writer afterwards. So, uh, the newsroom on Blu-ray that stars Jeff Daniels. Uh, and next up, I got. The complete sixth season of CSI. We are making our way through this. We are up to now, I think, up to nine seasons out of the 15. 
Not bad. I'm getting there. Uh, let's see. I believe that is also the last. This might be Grissom's last season, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong about that, but I, I think I think this is. And if not, it's the last season of War. One of the two. Uh, next up, I got a season of The Shield, season five. I think I have season one floating around here somewhere, but now I got season five. Uh, all right, so uh, I, I could I, I could do the Hamilton book, say the centerpiece, but I'm just gonna say do it now. So one of my very favorite TV shows I I watch grow I watch you know in the '90s uh, during the syndication uh, were syndication shows were very very popular. Um, you had, you know, a lot of series like, you know, the Relic, Relic Hunter, Andromeda. Uh, um, uh, you had Hercules Xenia, uh, the Beastmaster. And my personal favorite of all those that came out was a show they made called The Lost World. And it ran for three seasons. It would have ran for more, except the company that ran, the, ran it went bankrupt. Uh, and so they left the series on season three on a cliffhanger. They were expecting to come back. They had already gotten approval to come back for season four, but then the company there went uh, went belly up and went bankrupt. So uh, those shows that that came out in the nineties to start a, a, a tremendous cast, including the lovely Jennifer Odell, uh, Jennifer Dell. I think it's Odell. Um, Anyway, I didn't think I would ever find this at all out in the wild. I've been looking, 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 looking. And I didn't think I would ever, ever find it. Well, today, I found it. Season one of uh, uh, The Lost World. I, I really, truly didn't think I, I, I was going to find this at all, ever. Um, and it's funny because I'm sitting here looking at it. I'm looking downward, and I and I got I remember saying a couple of weeks ago, or even last week, where it was really really hard to find Dick Wolf uh, productions. Uh, the Chicago the Chicago series, one Chicago, never seen a single uh, home release. Uh, Law and Order, never seen a one, not one have I ever seen uh, in the library. Saw one today. First season of uh, SCU, which I already have. My wife gave that to me for Christmas. Uh, so, so, I, so, so I did see the first one, but I couldn't do anything with it because I already had it. Um, so, but I, I, I took joy in the fact that I did find the first season of, of The Lost World. And I was so excited about that because I just couldn't believe it. Now, this has been loved a little hard. I'm going to have to go in there and clean it up a little bit. But it's not scratched up. It's just really little hands all over it. Um, so I was really, really happy to find it. Uh, what makes it even better, though, is, yes, there was a season two. In fact, I've got season two as well. Uh, overjoyed, uh, to say the least. I want to say that these these looked like they were being either sold at a, at a store at one point, which is a long time ago, because I can tell you now, these these are not cheap. These are These are out of print, long out of print. And I think they got their copy a while ago because it looks like they got it for like three ninety nine, but I could tell you that was years ago. Now, no, they're hard to find, hard to find, out of print. Um, so I got really jacked when I got the second one. Uh, unfortunately, there was not the third one. I looked, and there was not the third one. But I got two. I got two of the three seasons. I could not be more jacked. That was I was like, wow, that's so cool. Um, I, that's that's incredible. I honestly, for uh, for me to find something like that at the library, and and swimming in a school of uh, resellers. Uh, so I got my Hamilton book. Um, uh, this was uh, this was inspired this this one was inspired by my friend Kenny um, because he found. A movie, a IFC movie that was on sale, and I did not have it. And like I said before, Kenny is a, he is a master IFC guy like myself, and he hunts for them. He he hunts just like just like I do, and so um, I went looking for it. Uh, I said, "Wow, I want to get the same thing he got because that's pretty rare to find." So I said, "Okay, I'm going to go ahead and 
do a small order here and uh, I decided to do something else as well. I actually got a movie. This is going to sound funny. Most people always upgrade. They go from DVD to Blu-ray. Me, I went from Blu-ray to DVD. Uh, that's because I wanted to see this movie so bad. And I can't see it on my player. Uh, I got... Uh, let's see. It's only four. Only, only four. Uh, we got... The Awesomes, the complete series, which I know nothing about, uh, but it was on sale for two bucks, so I decided to pick it up for two bucks, so I couldn't go wrong with that. Um, next, I, I already know I'm going to catch heat on this, but it's all right. So uh, I did pick up an arrow. <laughs> I went a little bit, I went, I, got, I went boutique balling. But at a budget ballast price, uh, this is only three ninety five, and this is the ghoul. And uh, I got this from um, because uh, Ben Wheatley had his fingers in it, and I enjoy Ben Wheatley's um, uh, movies very much. Uh, so I went ahead and picked this up, and I know nothing, little or nothing about it, except that the cast seems to be pretty damn good. And so, um, yeah, so I got this for three ninety five at Arrow. On uh, arrow, and then the two other ones I got uh, are the one I got I downgraded on because I wanted to see the movie so bad, and that is Hunter Hunter. Now I got the I I my my I have a Blu-ray of this. I have the Blu-ray, and we covered this on the ISC show. But my blue it wouldn't play my Blu-ray player, so I had to miss that show. I I oh, I was frustrated. But I went ahead and picked it up anyway because I want to see this movie so bad. So I spent the $4 and I got the DVD copy. Uh, this is absolutely one of the best ISC movies that they've ever released. This is one with one hell of an ending, that's for sure. Uh, um, not, a, not, a, not out there like with the coffee table, but for ISC, this is pretty damn good. Um, uh, so I got Hunter Hunter. And then I got the movie that uh, uh, Kenny has spotted. And he bought, and as soon as I saw that, I said, let me go get it too. And that is uh, an ISC film called uh, Prisoner. Which I know nothing about except that it stars, uh, has a great cast. Uh, Kim Raver from 24, Tom Geary from Mystic River, Rocky Carroll from NCIS. Leon Vance is in this movie. Hell yeah. Uh, and Dagmara uh, Dominic, uh, that's from The Count of Monte Cristo. Uh, along with Julian McMahon, who played Doctor Doom in the first Fantastic Four movie, and then Elias Coteas, who played Duncan in Some Kind of Wonderful. Uh, and so I picked that up. So that is the haul for today. Uh, definitely, definitely, as much as I love this ISCs, and I do, Lord knows that. But to pick up the first two seasons of uh, The Lost World, yeah, that's a keeper. Uh, I'm gonna go have to go down there and clean them all up, though. Uh, all right, uh, I do have one thing though. I'm gonna do something different before I let you guys go I am offering a trade I am looking for the third season of the lost world. I'm looking for the third season of the lost world I will put together a package to trade with anybody and I'm looking for the uh, uh, the haunting of Molly Hartley I'm looking for the haunting of Molly Hartley. I know me and Jamie Hart were supposed to get together on a trade I don't think it's going to happen. I think she likes the movie a little bit too much, and I don't blame her for that. But I'd like to get a copy of it for myself. And so uh, I'm willing to trade uh, for the, uh, the, the, uh, the Lost World and for The, Holly, uh, uh, the Haunting of uh, Molly Hartley. I have the complete series of The Lost Ship to offer. To start off with, I have the complete series of The Lost Ship. Uh, the, whole, the whole five seasons of it. And I will be, it's DVD, it's DVD, but so are the, so are the movies I'm looking for. Uh, so I will be more than happy to trade this and some other goodies for the third season of The Lost World and for The Haunting of Molly Hartley. If you guys, if anybody wants to get involved with this, trade with me, contact me on my Instagram. I'll put, the, uh, put that down in the description box and let's make this happen. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, and with that, I am done. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, if you're new to the channel, please consider uh, subbing. 
uh, hit the notification bell, let you know whenever I do a video like this, and um, drop a comment. Let me know what you think of the holiday. Um, I think it's pretty great, uh, but I want to know what you guys think. And I also want to know too, I also want to know too, if you guys would, if you're listening to this such a 15 minutes, but please start dropping down in the comment sections on uh, who are your three favorite guests on 8 Questions With? Who are your three favorite guests that you have seen on the show? Um, that would be very, very helpful for me. I'm trying to get together an intro and I need your help in doing it. I need your help. And I'll be putting the same thing on my community tab too. All right. Well, thanks so much. And we'll see you next Tuesday. Peace.